All right, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to expand on the topics that you've already found for your website, especially if you're trying to do this in volume and have AI hit all of these low competition based keywords that can really give your site a boost, especially if you're working on a brand new domain. So one of the best tools actually for this, and a lot of people are actually aware of this, is using a tool called Answer the Public. Now, if you've never heard of this, it is a tool that essentially takes the information that is an autofill type of function from Google. So when you go into Google and you type in a phrase, as it shows up here, shorts for, and you get this drop down with a bunch of these auto suggestions from Google. Now, many of you may not know this, but this is an absolute gold mine of content ideas. And the reason why is because Google, based upon its infinite wisdom and data collection, knows that there is an increased likelihood that you might be searching for some of these topics when you type this into Google. So wouldn't it be amazing to be able to go in and collect all of those phrases, especially related to your topic? Then you can create content for those queries and stick it on your website. So this tool is awesome. This tool in particular, when you put in your search query, let's say for example, they use marketing, it would come up with things like marketing without data, can marketing make you rich? All these things that people are typing in. So it is a really, really good tool and a complement to your keyword research tool, no matter what it is that you're using, Uber Suggest, Hrefs, et cetera. The problem here is, is that it is another paid tool. And I know that people hate um, too many paid tools because this stuff can really add up every single month. So it is a great tool, but if you look at the pricing here, you know, for 100 searches a day, which is, is still a pretty good amount, it's about nine bucks a month, okay? So you do have to pay more for this just for a search tool and something that you may want to be using a high volume of, especially if you're creating AI-based websites for affiliate marketing, et cetera. So there is an option that is an alternative for this that we found. It is called answersocrates.com. It is a great website here that is available for completely free and it allows us to basically do the same thing. So if you go here to the homepage, it's answer, S-O-C-R-A-T-E-S dot -E com. So pretty straightforward on that one. It says, you have answers, we have the questions. So a couple of things right off the bat, simple interface here, you see that you can type in your topic. You can also type in the country where you wanna filter the results from and also the language. There's a lot of language options. I know those of you uh, out there watching this video are always interested in, hey, can it produce it in XYZ language? There is a ton of options here, which is awesome. So it also has this nifty section here, which is questions about trending topics. If you have a website that is based upon trending topics or any of these kinds of topics, it is in your best interest to actually scan through here and see if any of these can be added to your website to capitalize on that momentum. Now, unfortunately, we can't search for individual topics down here, uh, so you just have to see what's available, okay? But nevertheless, quite useful. So if you haven't been following me, my project, uh, side project here just for the YouTube channel is Java Finder. It's putting along pretty nicely. I have a lot of content on there so far, I think around 180 posts or something like that. Uh, review blog posts on there through a software called AI WiseMind, which you'll see me talking about here soon. But I am looking to expand the content on here and target some of these more low hanging fruit, long tail keyword questions. So I can take any of my categories here that I want to add more content around, or if I want more topical authority on any of these items, and I can basically enter in those search queries into the website and actually gain more uh, topics. So I'm just gonna put in here something generic, espresso, and then hit enter. And you could see as we go through here that there are a ton of useful content ideas right away from just getting these, these questions. So we have 126 on here. And if we just kind of scan through here, we get things like how espresso machine works, uh, how is it made, those are pretty straightforward things that we should usually be uh, seeing when we're doing our, our keyword research. But we also see things, for example, should espresso be bitter? Uh, should espresso be capitalized? That's interesting. So these interesting questions here. 
Uh, where is espresso powder in Kroger? So asking you actually where it is in the store. So I got to imagine not a lot of places are going or uh, websites are going to be targeting things like this because it's just not that uh, important for their website content. Uh, but it is nevertheless something that if we put content on our website around this topic, which is still relevant to the topic of espresso, we could pull in a small amount of traffic and then have ads and so forth in the sidebar. But that's how you need to think when you're doing affiliate marketing. Where can we capitalize on traffic? Now, clearly they're interested in espresso. Okay, why espresso is healthier than coffee? I think there's a versus section in here usually if we scan through. Comparisons, there you go. Okay, so all of these things we can sift through and see what would be good for topics. Or if you are in a hurry and you just want the volume, what you can do is you could just download the CSV file. So this is super handy. So then we click on this, it'll open up. And then all we need to do is to just basically grab this entire list. If we go down here, we actually have a list of about 439 items here, okay? So you can sort on the questions. So if I just wanna go with the questions, as mentioned, we have 126. You could just grab all of those questions and then we can drop it into a tool, for example, like ZimWriter, go right over here to the bulk blog writer, and you could just paste in all of those questions so that those will actually be the titles of the blog posts. And then you could fill in all this information here, and then presto, you have 126 um, blog posts that are going to be optimized for that search question. And then of course you would build in your internal links and so forth to point it at whatever your money page is. So then you could also go through here you can look at some of these more looks like kind of informational uh, posts and then you can tidy those up a bit make some individual headlines that'll be a bit more manageable right because the questions are usually going to be great right away for the headline of a blog post but some of these are not going to be headlines or blog post titles so for example espresso canister so that's going to need to be something like what is the best espresso canister or how to choose an espresso canister, et cetera. So you have to do a little bit of manual work on that one or drop some of these uh, prepositional phrases into ChatGPT and then ask it to make some SEO optimized blog post titles. And then you can stick them into the blog writer, write them yourself or whatever it is that you're going to do. Okay. So this tool is awesome and it will give you a lot of extra direction for building authority on your website over your topics. And I would go through this for every single category or everything that is starting to show promise on search results. So if you've been putting together your AI website for a while now and you're starting to see a lot of impressions around a given topic or search term, you can go back through this here and actually use it to build up some additional authority and pour, point more internal links toward those successful posts. So I hope this is helpful as an awesome alternative here to answer the public. And I'll be sure to drop in the link below, check out some of those additional resources as well that I recommend to make your AI website building processes faster and more successful. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, then you'll get notified when new content becomes available. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.